End of service gratuity. Visualized. Once employment contract is terminated, whether employee resigned or has been fired by his employer, the employee is entitled to what is called end of service gratuity, which is an amount of money that the employer has to pay to the employee after the end of his employment for the period he spent working with the company. However this payment is subject to certain conditions related to the type of contract whether it's permanent or fixed term, and how many years the employee spent at work. For instance, a permanent employee who worked for up to one year gets his end of service once he leaves his job. But a permanent employee who quit his job, gets only third of the end of service amount, in case he worked less than three years while the employee who resigned after spending three to five years at work, gets only 66% of his end of service amount. The situation is different for employee who decides to terminate his temporary contract, as he does not get his end of service gratuity, unless he spent more than five years at work. After we reviewed who gets the end of service, let's see now how is this amount calculated. End of service amount is equals 21 days salary, for each of the first 5 years at work. And 30 days salary for each year of employment afterwards, however the total end of service amount cannot exceed the equivalent of 2 years salary. And the term salary means the last monetary wage paid to the employee, which does not include any allowances, like housing, transport, education or overtime. However, the employer can terminate the employee, without notice nor paying the end of service. This can happen in specific cases as follows. The employee does not get his end of service, if the employer decides to terminate him during the six months probation period. Or if the employee commits an act of fraud, or dishonesty, in his relationship with the employer, like disclosing work secrets to a third party. And if the employee mistake caused the fatal material damage to the employer, or if neglected his main duties at work. The employee is also waived from his end of service if he ignored the safety instructions at work. Also if employee abused others at work, consumed drugs or alcohol during working hours. And if he committed a crime and has been convicted by a court. And lastly, the employee will not get his end of service, if he is absent for 20 days in total, or 7 continuous days per year without valid reason, 